Whether Q not igniting, sick of using one of these, I'm going to show you how to replace or upgrade that igniter. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Now don't forget, everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace that igniter. I'm going to show you the reasons why your igniter stops working. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Right, so we've got the Q1200 here and we've got the electronic ignition and it's not working. And there's a few reasons why. So first thing you check is the battery. So you take the battery out, put a new battery in, twist, and nothing. The second thing you want to check is the back. So just check that the wires are okay on the back, which I'll just zoom in and show you. So over time, these wires tend to come loose or they tend to corrode. So it could be those as well that's quite loose so this is the reason we're changing that igniter today third reason it could be something to do with the sparker here we're still pressing it there's no spark whatsoever so it's definitely the igniter the thing i'm going to do is just disconnect these wires just off the back and then we're going to go around to the front and remove the igniter it's just a twist to the left and out it pops right now to remove your igniter you're going to need a flat screwdriver and you're just going to put it where these two lugs are here if you've got the piezo ignition you're going to have to get to it from the back and compress it at the back and then it will pop out because the piezo connects in there and there whereas this one connects on the 45 degree angle so just going to grab our screwdriver put it in there and prise and you're going to sort of tip it as you go and there you go so the top one's gone and do the same on the bottom and out that pops so as we look from above we're just going to remove our grill plate and you're going to need a 3 8 spanner or a slotted screwdriver to undo this bolt. So we'll just remove the other grill plate and make sure you've turned your gas off before you undo this because you're going to have to lift the burner up and back to remove this. So our gas is off, so we're just going to undo this and remove the burner. So this is the box that came from Weber and this is what you get in there. So you get your igniter, you get your switch, and a battery and you get your main ignition system which is on the front again you can replace the old piezo ignitions with these they will fit Weber have made it so these are dual so you can fit either these or the piezo one and we're just going to fit our new one in the reverse process So back around the front, we've got an, a vertical one and we've got an, one on an angle. The vertical one is for your piezo, the one on the angle is for your le electronic ignition. So just slide, line that up and we're just going to push that in. And that now is in. And we're just going to connect the wires back around the back. And from the back, we're just going to connect our black wire, which goes at the top here. And then our white wire, which goes here. So back round to the front, just make sure you've got your switch and your battery's going in the right way. So the flat side goes in there and you're gonna slide that in, twist, and it should work. Right now, don't forget everything you use in my video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your web products. So make sure you check those out. So as you can see, it's a really simple process to do. That igniter is really easy to fit. Like I said, all you need is a slotted screwdriver or a 3 8 spanner to undo that knot and a slotted screwdriver just to release the little plastic bits in the middle when you're sliding that module out. So if you've got the Weber 1000 or the Weber 2000 or even the Weber 3000, you can upgrade those piezo ignitions to the electronic ignition. Now, like I said in the video, the first step to check when your ignition isn't working. First, check the battery and then check the wires on the back. If they are connected all correctly and not corroded, then it's definitely the ignition system that needs replacing. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut too many bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.